Yo, what's good with y'all? Today I'm about to show you guys how to make outfit change in Roblox Studio. So basically, you guys are gonna want to insert a part because this is gonna be your um your outfit change part. Like when basically the way we're gonna do this is, you know, I know you guys have seen in games where like a player they walk on on something and then it changes the outfits. I'm doing this to where it's what's it called. It's where the player clicks on it because I feel like that's just better and stuff. So like someone doesn't accidentally step on it and change the outfit. It'd be better for them to click on it instead. If you guys want a tutorial to know how to do this when a player walks on a part and then changes the outfit, let me know in the comments that I got y'all. All you gotta do is just ask. But yeah. So we're gonna insert a part. We'll just scale it a little bit so I can just walk on it. And then we're gonna add in we're gonna add in a click detector. And then we're gonna add a script into the clip detector. Make sure you put the script into the clip detector and not the part itself. We're gonna delete print hello world, of course. We're gonna first make a we're gonna first make a variable. We're gonna do local click equals game dot workspace dot part or whatever you named it dot click detector. We're referencing the click detector. Then we're gonna make a function. We're gonna do click dot mouse click connect function parentheses player remember player inside the parentheses and then here is where we're going to change things basically we're going to do player dot character dot humanoid i mean not human my fault guys we're going to do player dot character dot shirt dot shirt template all right we're gonna do we're gonna do two lines of this we're gonna copy this and then paste it down here and then we're gonna change this to pants because we want to change not only the shirt and well if you guys only want to change the pants or just change the shirt then you guys would only do the shirts in the pants uh, line but yeah so here you guys are going to need uh what's it called an id like um if you guys don't know like Roblox has like outfit IDs and stuff for like every single outfit. So you'll need you'll need an ID and stuff. I'm pulling mine up right now. All right, so here, if you guys don't know, you go to the uh you go to like the catalog for an outfit or whatever, and you look at the top of the like the link for the website. It'll say Roblox.com catalog, and then it'll say like a like list like a just numbers. That's what you want. So you're gonna do parentheses, and then you're gonna do you're gonna do quotation marks, then you're gonna put the ID inside. Then the same thing down here. So there's the shirt ID, and then here's the pants ID. If you guys don't really like understand what I'm saying, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions to help you guys. So basically, I put in an ID. You guys are about to see what the outfit is gonna be and stuff. So yeah, we finished our script. So let's hop in game to test it. We're gonna click play. As you guys can see, my outfit have like type of like a samurai type of outfit so we're gonna go over here go to the part we're gonna click it and oh that did not work out as well hold on hold on let me reset oh i see what i did so actually you guys can't just put like the id you have to here i'm gonna show you guys actually you want to take the id you want to do this while you're actually testing the game so you can see if you don't know how to like if you don't know it like off the top of your head on like how to how to put it specifically, then here's what you want to do. You want to go to workspace, find your player, go to shirt and pants, type you just want to put an ID. Like here, here is the here is the shirt ID. We're just gonna put it in here. It'll autofill for us. It will change this. Here's what you want. Then you want to copy and paste this whole thing, and then you want to replace it. You want that whole link. You want that whole thing. Yeah, see? You see how it changed? And then for pants. We want, we're going to put this for the pants template. Then we're going to copy and paste that and we're going to replace that here. So then when I click stop, it saves everything. As you can see, it's the same thing. It's just typing in the website link, uh, you know, HTTP, robots.com, asset, asset ID, and then the ID. Now when I click play, it will work. Well, yeah, so as you guys can see, it changed my outfit. Now I got a champion, I got a champion hoodie and a champion uh, shirt and shoes on. That's how you change it. You guys can also change accessories with this too. It literally is completely whatever. 
whatever you want. But yeah, if you guys didn't understand what I said, you can go to workspace, spy G19, or the name of your player, then you would find your shirt and pants. You would insert the ID. Let me copy and paste the ID. You would in you would copy and paste the ID here. It would autofill for you. So all you would have to do is just select it and then just copy just copy and then just paste it into the script. Because that is what we put here. But yeah, I'm hoping this video was helpful to you guys. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything, just leave in the comment section down below. I will reply. If this was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe and like. As always, I will leave the script in the description if you just want to copy and paste it. But yeah, hope this was helpful and I'll see y'all.